Welcome class to the first part of chapter two. Yay, you made it past chapter one, I hope. So we're doing chapter two, section one. There's gonna be two videos. I'm gonna do just the algebra equations using words, graphing. In the first video, in the second video, we'll do some more words. Um, you've seen it all before. We're gonna practice graphing and then we're gonna add on to it the vertex. Right now, you should be on page 48. In the two videos, we're doing page 48 to 50, monitoring progress numbers one through eight. That is what I'm going to add on to your homework. Not only do you need to watch the videos, take notes, you need to make sure you do everything from one to eight in the monitoring progress sections before you come to school uh, the next day. So I already set up page 48, number two for us. G of X equals the quantity X minus two squared minus two. And the directions are to describe the transformation, which we've done before, that was most of chapter one, and then graph each function. All right, so I'm gonna go from left to right, nothing out here. This is a minus two, but it's inside the parentheses, which means it's always gonna trick me. So instead of left two, I know that this means right two. This is outside the parentheses, it must mean up or down, it doesn't trick me. Minus two means down two. It says to graph now, and in chapter one we did a TT chart. So we had our X, we had our parent function, we had our baby function. I don't wanna do that. I wanna just do one T chart for chapter two. I'm older, I'm wiser. So I'm gonna have my X and I'm gonna have my function except I need to pick better points than negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two, like I told you to choose in chapter one. I have to be smarter than that. So I know this parabola is going right two, down two. So from here, I know I'm going right two, down two. I know there's a point at two, negative two. So I'm gonna put that in the middle of my T chart. This is gonna be my middle X. I need to pick, well, to make life easy, I'm gonna pick two X's that are smaller than that, and two X's that are bigger than it. So stop here, rewind if you need to. How did I find two negative two? That's my middle of the T chart. How did I find that this is gonna be two? Because from, them, from there, I went two smaller, two bigger. So I can plug these points in now. I'm gonna do that with red for no reason whatsoever. 0 minus 2 is negative 2, negative 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 2 is 2. You have a calculator, check my work at home if I make a mistake. 1 minus 2 is negative 1, square it, that's 1. Take away 2, that's negative 1. Let's plug in 3. 3 minus 2 is 1, square it, still 1. 1 minus 2, negative 1, I'm seeing a pattern. Plug in 4, 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 2 is 2. I have five points, I can make a beautiful bracket. 0 comma 2, 1 negative 1, 3 negative 1, 4 comma 2. Don't forget to make your parabolas curvy. Don't forget to make your parabolas have arrows at the top. So again, the directions were to describe the transformations right to, down to, and then graph the function, but we need to be smarter than we were in chapter one. Find a middle point. Do that by using your descriptions. Find me four more points so you can plot a very nice parabola, and you did it. But I'm gonna add one thing. You don't have to do this for one and three unless you wanna practice, so really you should do it for one and three. I'm gonna add the vertex in. We're gonna see it later in the section, and we should practice now. So, I need to find the vertex. Well, you know what, that's simple. The vertex is the lowest point. If it's an upside down parabola and a sad face, it's the highest point. Here's my vertex. What's that point? It's two, negative two. It's a special point called the vertex. We put a V in front. But there it is, it's right there. Where did I find it? Well, it was right here. Where did I get this point from? From my description. So in describing this, you're actually finding either the whole vertex or most of the vertex. So it should be pretty obvious with enough practice 
where the vertices are when we're graphing parabolas. Right now, you need to try numbers one and three. You can pause. I'm gonna go on, or you can watch me erase. I'm gonna go on to page 50, numbers four, five, and six. All right, so page 50. being nice to you, I'm going to try to pick the uh, most heinous one. g of x equals the quantity of one-third x squared. Our directions, describe the transformation, graph the function, all right? Nothing out front. Inside, inside I'm multiplying, I'm multiplying one-third, but anything inside is meant to trick me. So it says one-third, which makes, makes me think of a shrink but it's trying to trick me, so this is a horizontal stretch by three. I don't have any left or right, and I don't have any up or down. So I have a parabola that's being stretched horizontally by three. So we need to graph it. You can kind of do your yoga that I taught you last chapter to figure out or get a good idea of what it's supposed to look like. Now, it didn't move left or right or up or down, so my vertex is actually still in the middle. Zero, zero, because I didn't go left or right by anything. I didn't go up or down by anything. This will be a little bit clearer the more you practice. So zero, zero is still my middle point, but you know what? I don't like fractions, so I'm gonna try to think of x's that's gonna cancel out this fraction. So the first x I'm gonna think of is three, which means I'm gonna put a negative three as another x. Again, I'm trying to cancel out this denominator. I don't like fractions. You're more than welcome to like fractions. You're more than welcome to use fractions. You're more than welcome to graph fractions. I'm not gonna do it. So another number, if I multiply by six, will actually simplify out that fraction. So I'm gonna use six and negative six. All right, so you know what? Let's start at three. So one-third times three is one. One squared is one. One-third times six is two. So two squared is four. One-third times negative three is negative one. Negative one squared is one. One-third times negative six is negative two. Negative two squared is four. So that actually looks really familiar when I pick nicer x's and try to get rid of my fraction. So I have a point here, it's the vertex. By the way, it's the vertex. It gets a V in front, I said that earlier. Zero, zero. Make sure you do that. The vertex gets a V in front, always label the vertex. One, two, three. Oops, sorry. One. Four, five, six. Two, three, four. Six comma four. One, two, three, negative three comma one, negative six, comma four, and I'm gonna graph it. So while the y's look very familiar, the x's are actually stretched out. It is a horizontal stretch by three, so my description was correct. The one-third inside is trying to trick me. All right, so you are gonna do five and six, which should be easier than this. The vertex might not be zero, zero, so make sure you still identify the vertex even though the directions don't say to. Right now you should pause, rewind, update your notes, try five and six, see if there's anything you learn. We're gonna do a lot of practice tomorrow.